Hi, welcome to Unlock Layout and Design YouTube channel and today we are going to discuss about core and I-O transistors and voltage and frequency islands. So now let's try to understand what is the power consumption of an IC. Okay, what is the power consumption? So I have an inverter here, okay, and I have CL which is the load capacitor. So whenever V in is low, that time PMOS is on and the current will flow from VDD to CL and it will charge CL. Okay, so it will charge CL this way. And what is the energy? Energy stored is half CL and VDD squared. That is the amount of energy that is stored in this load capacitor CL. Okay. So now when input goes to high, so is there a power wastage here? There is no power wastage actually. So the entire uh, energy that was in VDD, the charge came and got stored in CL. Okay. So that energy is still very much available on CL. But when I make the input 1, so that time what happens? NMOS turns on and this entire energy that is stored in capacitor will go to ground and now the entire energy half cv squared will go to ground and now it gets wasted so earlier it was stored in capacitor and now it get, get discharges to ground and that energy is wasted so this becomes actually a loss now so instead of going from vdd to ground directly it came to capacitor and from capacitor it went down to ground so it's like two two stage and whenever you have a switching like this low to high and then high to low you have this wastage of power so if i have a continuous switching like this so then for every one cycle there will be a power wastage so i will have to multiply this power by frequency f suppose the frequency of this one this uh, signal is like f then I have to multiply this by frequency. So this becomes my power wastage, half CV squared F. If you observe, if you observe, it is proportional to the square of power supply. Suppose say, if my power was like when VDD, VDD was say one volt or say two volt, the power consumption was say 1 watt. What happens when I reduce the VDD by half? I will make it 1 volt. I just reduced it by half. So then what happens? 1 half. So it became 1 volt. 1 volt. And what happened to the power? So it, be, it should become half watt. No. It becomes 1 fourth. Because it is proportional to square. So half square will become 1 by 4. So it will only take a quarter watt. So there is a big power saving when I reduce my power supply. Uh, when I reduce it by half, but the power consumption goes down by 75%. Okay. So that is a big advantage uh, when I reduce my power supply. That is why you, you would see that VDD is always reducing. Earlier we used to see like 5 volt, then it became 3.3 volt then it became like 1.8 volt then it now nowadays i am seeing like 1 volt 0.8 volt 0.6 also okay so that's the reason why the power supply is scaling down it's mainly to uh, save a lot of power so let's try to understand what is noise margin okay so now earlier suppose say the power supply was 15 volt earlier very high power supply was there so when 15 volt then a input high it need not be 15 volt even 11 volt onwards it is considered high okay and for low it need not be 0 volt up to 4 volt it is considered low only and this one is considered high only okay now what is the difference between uh, low and high 11 minus 4 volt which is 7 volt now let's come to the next power supply then it started reducing it became like 10 volt that time what happened to my uh, high voltage from 7 volt onwards it's it's high and from 0 to 3 volts up to 3 volts it is 
low and what happened to the difference between these two which is an undefined state which is 3 7 minus 3 that is 4 volt earlier it was 7 volt now it became like 4 volt now we now the further uh, the power supply reduced and it became 5 volt so from 3.5 onwards it is high it is recognized as high and from 0 to 1.5 it is recognized as low and the undefined voltage is now 3.5 volt minus 1.5 volt which is 2 volt so as a, as and when the power supply shrinks the undefined voltage is also shrinking so now further if it reduces suppose say there is a, a voltage here which is 1.5 volt and a 2 volt noise comes so then it will trigger that to high so it was actually a low voltage but then because of noise it got, got triggered and it became like it is recognized as high because of 2 volt noise so to get a 2 volt noise is very difficult okay but i am just giving you an example a 2 volt noise is required to shift this low uh, and make it as high okay so that's exactly what i was uh, speaking so as and when my power supply vdd vdd reduces this indeterminate voltage will further reduce suppose say i have a supply voltage of 1 volt then this indeterminate voltage would be around say some 500 millivolt or 600 millivolt so if i have a very small indeterminate voltage a low voltage can be made into high by only 500 millivolt of noise so the noise is always constant whereas this power supply is shrinking so the difference between low and high is decreasing a small noise can trigger a false high instead of low so this is uh, very important so from uh, noise per noise margin perspective i want my vdd to do, to be as high as possible so now first we will uh, try to understand so we understood uh, we have spoken about something now and we will try to understand what are the requirements of vdd from power consumption point of view i want so what is the power it is half cv squared f and from power supply perspective power consumption point of view i want vdd to be as low as possible because there is a square law dependence But from noise margin point of view, if you see, my, I want my VDD to be as high as possible. As high as possible. But from power consumption point of view, I want it to be as low as possible. So now we have a contra contradictory requirements for VDD. So how do we solve this problem? okay so how do we solve this problem so what we do is we identify whatever computation has to be done so that entire thing will be done at a lower voltage which is known as the core voltage so entire computation so wherever it switches very fast so it consumes very low power supply so this one i will operate all those things all the computation i need in digital I will say I will do it at 1 volt okay I will operate all the logic with, with 1 volt and the where is the noise actually it's not inside it is in the external world okay external world out, out of the IC I have all the noise so only there I'll have the IO transistors say it is say 3.3 volt okay so what I do is I put a level shifter in between so what you see in this blue is nothing but a level shifter which will convert all outgoing signals from core which is like 1 volt to 3.3 volt and whatever is coming in it will convert down convert it from 3.3 volt to 1 volt so both type of level shifters are used 
here and now I get the best of both worlds. So from, from, from noise immunity perspective, I'm using 3.3 volt and from power supply and uh, for power saving application, I'm using like one volt. I'm getting both benefits by using a core and high volt transistor. That's why always a core transistor is a low voltage transistor and IO transistor is always a high voltage transistor. So further, if I want to reduce uh, my power consumption, what should I do? So I have different circuits uh, which have like uh, uh, which need not be working on different power supply on the same power supply. Say I will make uh, something work at 3.3 volt. Some circuitry needs to work on 3.3 volt. Some circuitry I want to work at 2.5 volt and some circuitry I will have like work on one volt that way i can save a lot of power instead of work, make a entire circuit work at 3.3 i will make i will differentiate uh, i will iso identify and isolate uh, the circuits which are working on 3.3 volt 2.5 volt and one volt and what i do is i'll put a level shifter whenever the signals have to interact between these voltage domains so i'll have different level shifters which will help these signals interact between these different levels. Similarly, so because the equation is half C V squared F. So I did this, uh, I did uh, power reduction by changing the power supply. I can also do it with frequency, right? So I will have, so I will identify some portion of circuit which is not uh, high speed circuit. So I will operate it at say some 100 megahertz. So I have some other circuitry which need to work at uh, much higher uh, frequency. Say this has to work at 200 megahertz. And then the most uh, crucial, very high uh, circuit, maybe it will work at 500 megahertz. So in between, I'll have like, not level shifters, but I'll have like handshaking. So, so that I'll synchronize everything properly. And I will handshake these voltage domain, frequency domains properly. So this is known as voltage domain, whatever you see here, I have different voltage domains. Okay, and this one, and it's called voltage island. So this entire thing will be in different voltage and uh, this one in different voltage, this one in a different voltage. And similarly here, I have this one in a different frequency island. This is a frequency island. 100 megahertz frequency island. This is 200 megahertz frequency island. This one is 500 frequency island. And why not both? So yes, both things are also there. Suppose I, I can work 3.3 volt and also like 100 megahertz. And uh, I can have 2.5 with 200 megahertz. And I can have like uh, 1 volt with 500 megahertz so everything is possible or vice versa is also possible so we can mix even voltage and frequency island so what is required is a regulator which can give all these different power supplies and also some clock synthesizer which can give all the different frequencies so that will be additional requirement but then we will save a lot of power So to summarize, we spoke about core and IO transistors. What is the need of core? Core is like to save power, I will reduce my VDD and operate at a very low uh, voltage. So that's how I save power because it is half CV squared. Yes, but for noise immunity, I need uh, the transistors to operate at a higher voltage. That's why I have the IO transistors when interfacing with the external world. So I need this one. So I'll have both of them in order to get the benefits of both the worlds. And then I also save uh, power further by having a voltage island and frequency island, or sometimes I'll have both of them, okay. Well, so thanks for watching. And uh, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and also please share and subscribe. Thank you.